The late Abbot Igwe's family rolls out the six days burial plans for Herbert, his son, and his wife, and conspicuously excluding RCCG City of David from the event. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. In the spirit of, you know, the sadness over the unfortunate and sad demise of the Ogakwatakwata of Access Bank Odin's, Herbert Wigwe, the 57-year-old multi-billionaire who passed on in an unfortunate incident in the United States of America while transiting in a ch chopper with his beautiful wife, Chizoba, and his 29 years old son, Cheesy, in what could be termed the one of the most painful, most horrific way to pass away. When the news seeped in over a week ago, the whole space was scattered. You know, as a human being, when you hear how some people's lives, you know, just went like that, you might not know them. You don't even have to know them. You don't even have to have chopped any amount of whatever from their money or have any relationship with them. But as a human being with blood running through your veins, you just feel that sadness to be like, what is all this life worth? What is the essence of running up and down? When in just one journey, after despite all, all several journeys you've taken, something unfortunate can happen by any reason and the whole life will just go like that. This is even sadder because this includes two generations. You can imagine sometimes when you come across pictures of like this, as you can see this collage on the screen, you'll be like, yeah, just normal human beings like us. They have plans for 2024. Ne never could they have ever thought, if anybody had even told them as a prophecy, that this was ever going to come to pass. Especially with the fact that the way they went. The, I, ca I can just imagine the horrific feeling, the shock, the trauma, father, wife, son, and the friend, and all of that. And we just be like... What exactly? What's in David's life exactly? If people who had no close contact with him could feel like this, you know, how much more people who are close to him? How much more his family members? How much more his church? At least till date, for all we know, he's one of the major contributors to a church. Or what do you call a man who gave one billion naira to from his personal money to um his church when the loan taken by the bank is going south is it the 400 million naira that we've heard that he has also given them as a donation before or is it the fact that he's said to be the one that pays the choir members salaries monthly at least these good deeds he has done to the house of God should be appreciated. Or how do we define an elaborate flamboyant birthday party that the spiritual mother, Shiju Iluyomade, the wife of Pastor Ido Iluyomade, both the daddy Gio and the mommy Gio of the parish city of David, when the pictures and videos of this party seeped online, people were like, oh my God, no. They should be mourning. While well, some people are thinking that, oh, ah, should be the mourn for six days. One we can never do. Others are of the opinion to be like, there's no empathy. There's no sympathy in what they've done. Nothing wrong if they had decided to move the birthday party at least till when this man is buried. Even if they are going to move it for like one week or two weeks to say, no, what we have stated before cannot. In one week, you can't get over the demise of an individual that was so close to you and good to you in one week. It doesn't mean that you won't move on with your life. It doesn't mean that you won't go to work. It doesn't mean that you won't, um, 
you won't do your daily things, but there's this aura of soberness that a normal human being will have, especially with the way they passed on. And the more reason that the, 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 the Herbert himself has an aged mother and an aged father. You need to see pictures and short clips online of how that Baba Wigwe and his wife looked. The trauma, the tears. You know, sometimes as human beings, when you just look at somebody passing through something, you, you, you become more humble. That whatever you are or whatever you're doing is not by your grace. That anything can happen at any time. As much as we pray that only goodness and mercy shall happen to us. But for those that something has happened to, the good book says, mourn with those who mourn. The Bible says it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of celebration. Because those moments of mourning or that you're mourning with somebody who mourns humbles your soul and humbles your spirit and gives you the room to reflect on your own life to be like, ah, I hope so that they use common sense to do my life. We are the wrong soul. Now, when that happened, the Uyghur family responded or reacted rather and said they do not want to see anybody, RCCG family, city of David, in anything that concerns the Uyghur family, especially the funeral. And that was instructive. With this statement, people were like, okay, is it right or wrong? Which I believe they took a right decision. Because Papa Wigwe, that's Herbert's father, is said to be a member of the top governing whatever of that church. And I think that, you know, you need to put yourself in people's shoes to say, okay, if this has happened to, God forbid, the family members of the pastor and his wife, can they imagine there? I can't just even imagine. I don't want to just use that analogy. I don't want to do it. But there should be a sense of decorum. There's something called feeling the temperature in the room. Before you try anything, you need to feel the temperature in the room. You need to feel the pulse. That was just not right. It didn't show any level of emotional intelligence. And these two people, the couple, Ilu Yomadi couple, are lawyers. I stand to be corrected, but at least I'm sure of Shiju. His 60th birthday, of course, is a landmark. But the fact that somebody that had everything in quotes going for him, just go like that. It should be a strong reason, especially even as a spiritual mother, to move that birthday celebration. That was highly insensitive. Unapologetically, I'm a Christian, but it doesn't mean that we cannot say the truth. It doesn't mean we can say the truth. Because the truth is the truth. Whether you want to quote it, some are saying, uh, she has paid the vendors. She had paid for the all. Excuse me? Excuse me? So, if she has paid the vendors, or she has sold as she be, or whatever, does that mean that even if she lost money, which is not always the case, with the rescheduling. The honor given would always have been talked about. There was a time this billionaire woman, Ajaboya Balashagaya, planned a celebration. And one of our major persons at that time was um, ex First Lady, Patience Jonathan, who suddenly was hospitalized. Balashagaya cancelled the celebration. That is how high you hold people in high esteem, especially those that you know they're in your corner. You celebrate with them when they are celebrating and you mourn with them when you, they are mourning. So, the grass goes on redeem. Right now, it's not easy. With Baba Adeboye telling um, Pastor Shiju and his wife, I mean, and her husband, Ido, Pastor Ido, to resign now that Baba's son will take over. And them, she do, them, responded to Baba to be like, nope, they ain't going nowhere. And the contract of the church building that they are doing, the Trinity House or Trinity Tower, the contract is by their company. So they go nowhere. People have cited the instances where the same was done to Pastor Itua Igodalo, who had to, 
Paul was asked to leave because he married another, uh, well, got into another marriage when his first one did not work out. And he left and started his own church and he's doing well. The same goes for Pastor Tony Rappo as well. He also had to leave because of similar circumstances. Now, do they think that with all the stress or the whatever of building that church, they will just take a walk? Some people say that Redeem will have just um, sanctioned them, right? Or cautioned them. Were they ready to toe the line of caution? Maybe, maybe they would have told them to say, do a public apology that this seems to have rubbed off badly on people and there's no way you'll be a human being and not feel the gospels. You'll feel it. You will feel it. If people who are spiritual leaders are not showing empathy, that means two generations gone. Oh, gone forever. It's not that they are coming back. You can imagine somebody getting on a plane to go somewhere and the person is coming back in a casket. This time, we can't even say the whole body is complete. Come on, we are human beings who are crying out loud. And there's an aged father and mother. That is even where the tears just keep flowing. Because as aged parents, the worst thing that can happen for any parent, especially aged one, is to bury their children. That's the worst cause, the worst situation that anybody can find himself or herself. May God let us, not let us experience this. So they've ruled out the burial rites. And they've chosen a lion, lion of parish or something um, to do a procession in Lekki Phase 1. And they're going to bury them in um, Utupo, I mean, Usiopo, in um, their village, Delta State. But nowhere was RCCG City of David mentioned. And this is just in line with what they had said this earlier. That we, I mean, the, the RCCG family of City of David, especially the pastors, should not come close to the Wigways. Now the line has been drawn. They've made their statements. And if you go online, you will see that the gas goes is 98% on this couple to be like, you guys didn't do this well. When you're wrong, you're wrong. If you, no matter what position you are, you've acquired in life, and you decide to play deaf to voices of reasoning, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. You might have done something and not realize the backlash that will come after. But when the voices of reasoning are telling you that <laughs> this thing you've done, 98% of Nigerians cannot be wrong. They can't be wrong. You need, to, you need to just sit down and just think about the fact that, okay, all this fairity that we do at the end of the day, would they have liked it if this had happened to their own families or their own family and there's a celebration barely a week after? Nobody would like that. There's something called respecting the dead. Even people that, you know, you know, it's, it's just a mess right now. And I hope they're able to resolve it because it's not looking nice. The optics is bad for RCCG. It's bad. You see that they call themselves and tell themselves the own truth and they humble themselves as they always preach to do the needful. The world is watching. And you don't even need to be a Christian to be able to see the truth. Sometimes, eh, people will not recognize themselves as Christians or Muslims. Eh? Mm? They understand the language of humanity. Sometimes they are better off. They act more with common sense and emotional intelligence than those of us who carry religion for head. This is not an insult to anyone. It's just the truth. The first religion any human being should practice is humanity. Do to others what you want them to do to you. Love your neighbors as yourself. Treat people right. Be kind. Be respectful. That's it. But in this case, a old pastor and his wife of one of the most flamboyant parishes in Redeemed Christian Church of God doing this they are not too big for us to tell them what they did is wrong. And we hope they are going to get the wisdom right now before it's too late. However they want to do it, right now we just pray for them. And prayer will do its work 
But common sense too, and the action you do also goes a long way. Thank you so much for watching. Do you think that um, this can be resolved amicably? Do you think things would take shape back and not always trail this couple? We'd like to hear from you. Please keep it constructive. See you in the next video. Bye for now.